Imagine Chicago with great public schools in every neighborhood. <laughs> Offering all students the challenge and opportunity now available to only a few. I think my life would have been very different had I not gone to a charter school. I know for a fact I would not be sitting here right now. Omaris is a senior at the University of Chicago. It's only a few miles, but it seems a world away from her family and friends back in Humboldt Park. There was a lot of drug trafficking, gun trafficking, uh, the gangs, the block was always hot, which is, you know, there was crossfires. I see them still in the neighborhood with maybe three, four kids. And in a way, I think back and I'm like, that could have easily been me. Since 2005, Renaissance Schools Fund has raised more than $50 million to start 70 new public schools in neighborhoods where they are needed most. Our students start earlier, stay later, and work harder. So we need to put them in these great high schools, that way they can be on track to go to a, a great college. Students who go to our schools from kindergarten through 12th grade get five more years of classroom instruction than other public school students. In state testing, our elementary schools outperform others by 11%, our high schools by 14%. Last year, our graduation rate was 21% higher than other open enrollment schools. Our students are twice as likely to go to college. Most are the first in their families to do so. Our students succeed, often against incredible odds. Charter schools got me in college. Sean Hopkins is one of 10 children born to a drug-addicted mother. He was raised by friends and relatives. At one point in eighth grade, he was homeless. There were nights where I, I cried. I didn't know if the person who I was staying with at the time will allow me to come back the next day. Sean applied to CICS Ralph Ellison High School. It's college-going culture changed his life. I would look in the mirror every morning and I would say this to myself, I want better, I deserve better, and I have a future. Today, Sean is a freshman at Knox College in Galesburg, Illinois on a full tuition scholarship. Charter schools gave him the tools to succeed, but not all children have this chance. Right now, 12,000 CPS students are on waiting lists for charter schools. That's almost three applications for every available seat. And I just knew that I had to keep trying and trying and trying until I found it. When her daughter Bianca was accepted at the Learn Excel Academy, Carla was overjoyed. Then came a stunning discovery. She was so far behind. She was like an F student here, F. She literally got an F in math. In one year, Bianca has caught up. She's now at her grade level in math and has jumped four grade levels in reading. It just brought so much happiness to know that she's getting the skills that she needs to succeed. We want to help thousands of students like Bianca by investing in what works, by continuing to support our highest performing charter operators, by replicating the best schools and closing or restructuring those that fail to make the grade by attracting more school operators with proven track records, by developing the next generation of school models that use innovation and new technology, and by helping parents become more involved. We want to do all this to benefit the entire district. They're accountable to me as a parent. They're accountable to her as a student. They're accountable to our community. We now serve 12% of the district. Our goal is to serve 30% by 2020. It's time to start a new chapter with a new commitment to provide choice for every community, with new confidence that charter schools can change lives. What we do here will determine what they do in five, six, seven years, 20 years from now. It's time for a new name that reflects who we are, what we do, and where we're going. <laughs>